So, John, I, wa- I wanted to ask you a bit about, ju- just to refresh us, remind us about the Orcam, I think I've got the name right, or- Orcam camera. Orcam my eye, yeah. Orcam my eye camera. Because um, there won't be a show next week because I'm going to be at the Learning Technologies show, which is a... Um, well, it's for, for, for H. They're now just saying it's for HR, human resources. So it's for it's for training at work, it's for adult learning. Uh, whereas BET, which we've been to in the past, you didn't go this year, but no. C- C- Chris Norton from the Wild Show went with with me this year. Um, but just to say that we we've we've regard those as two related shows, but BET is the one that you and Chris concentrate on now because it, there is genuine technology there. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying the learning technology show hasn't got technology, but the the, the, the main companies like Google and Microsoft and so forth, that they, they do attend, attend BET, which makes it a, a, a more significant technology event, I think. I think. Um, but what, what Chris and I saw there this year, um, Orcam are coming up with smaller devices different to the camera which you're going you're going to describe and they're also renting them so you can pay a monthly fee and they're designing them also for schools so they've got a version of it that will work in a classroom and feedback data to the the teacher on what progress um in, in learning in reading skills is is going on but would you would you just remind because pe- people who haven't heard the, the show for a while um, or if they didn't hear it last year or the year before, they don't they don't know the background to it. So would you d- describe what what the device is and why you're interested in it? Well, it's it's uh, it, for for those of you who don't know, I'm I'm uh, registered I'm registered blind, so I'm severely I'm known as severely visually impaired, and I can't read print. It's a type of dyslexia, but it's not. I don't want to go into that too much, but um. But I can't read. I can't read books, print, letters. Um, you get the picture. So anyway, all can my eye actually actually uh, allows me to actually get feedback from the from the camera if I point it at, at, at a bit of text. Um, but what I um, what I liked about it was is is the fact that. It was pretty mobile. The the camera, you know, it's pocket size, so you can fit. You I'd be able to fit it in, fit it into my pocket, and you know, actually read books and letters, and and basically could even go shopping on my own. You know, food shopping and re- read. You know, actually be more more up to. Uh, you know, actually do more reading. This would allow, um, but it's an awful lot of money. And uh, and um, that's why I haven't got access to it. But um, but uh, it's it's a, it's a device that really interests me. John, the the other thing to ask you about you you're not you're not very convinced that the the handheld smaller versions that they're renting out I would ha- would, would well, work. Well, so explain why you don't think that's. Well, uh, I'm not I'm not saying uh, because I also have. I also have spastic cerebral palsy, so my 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 me talking about me specifically, I wouldn't be able to, um, you know, have the hand hand and eye coordination to be able to control the those devices. It depends how small they were, but um, going back to my experience with the uh, uh, reading pen that I tried when I was doing my in- my English course at Learn Devon. Um, I tried it then and it didn't work because I couldn't, I didn't have that uh, and an eye and an eye coordination and the control to be able to do that. But for 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 blind people and for other for other for other people that might not have those motor function difficulties, um, it would they would work for. So so I can, but you know, talking about me, um, I wouldn't have the motor skills to do that. But um, for, for various other people in the population, they it would pro- they probably would work um, quite well. So, so I you can understand why the products are there. But, but I I'd rather just stick to the 
to to the to the uh, camera that you stick on your stick on your glasses. Um, so it just sticks on the side of your glasses, and then the that fixes it. And, it you fixes and you just move your head around to move your head around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to, to to what you want the camera to look at and and describe feedback to you. So um, I also like the idea that it can um, that you can program it to recognise faces and. Uh, and so you can recognize people so i could i could i could um i i could program it to uh, recognize wheel space and uh, could say in my could say in my ear there's wheel or something like that so would it know so, what mood i was in no probably no it would just know who i was but it would know who you were so so if i was trying to identify you in a crowd maybe i could identify you in a crowd um but yeah so it's 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 a product that interests me, um, but from for 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 my specific purposes, it would have to be the original camera that they that they that they uh, the first product that they built. Okay. Um, yeah, but the handheld devices would work for fifty percent of the population. Right. So, we'll 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 keep we'll keep coming coming back to all of those things. Sure. And um, the week after next, I'll, I'll, I'll say a bit more about the Learning Technologies show. I'm, sh I'm sure there is uh, assistive technology, connectivity, um, or just simply voice, voice technology. Because that's, that's the thing which strikes me. A lot, a lot of the things which started out in iPhones, for example, yeah, as, 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 a, as a voice interface... I mean, it's, that, 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 that was that was for ability or dis disability. Yeah, I mean, it's coming, to start with, wasn't it? What makes me what makes me what surprises me was well, not surprised actually, but Can we, right. what I have to say about all this like technology, you know, like artificial intelligence, voice recognition, it's all become more mainstream now. So it's some some kind of artificial intelligence or um, you know. Voice, voice activated software is actually built into to to most phones now. Um, for for just everyday run of the meal people who like to use it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Voice interfaces. Where when I first started using Dragon, actually speaking from Nuance, which is the main header of voice recognition for Win for the for the PC, um, it, voice recognition at that time. Was was used as a, a a dyslexic tool and a speed efficiency uh, tool, but now it's it's much more mainstream. So um, so you can buy the Alexa slash you know, and other products are available. Um, it wasn't like that at one time. It was it it wasn't mainstream, but but now you it's it's much more mainstream. Yeah. So it's possible some some of the functionality of the camera will will be built into a phone or or glass. Everybody will have some sort of glasses with augmented reality or whatever. Or yeah. There's all sorts of devices might come along. Yeah, you, you. I think the future. They may come from all cam, by the way. We're not saying. Maybe, that. I think. I think. I think. I think the future has a lot to hold in in technology, and and it's it's getting quite scary. Actually, well, sure. Um, but technology, uh, technology is on the rise. Unfortunately, it's not going away. I mean, you hear about this uh, artificial intelligence with AI now. Yeah, students are using it to write their essays, and that wouldn't have been possible when I was growing up. And uh, um, yeah, they're quite worried about it, aren't they? Well, yeah, they're working <laughs> out working out what to do. They're quite what? Yeah, they're quite concerned. Um, yeah, I think I, I mean yeah. A, there's a sort of panic about fake essays, but well, it, if, if, it does seem that way. Uh, tutors are worried about, it, aren't they? Yeah, but if you if you did put some search terms into a, a search engine and you get a load of references, and then you go and pick out the bits that you think are interesting, presumably it could work the same way with an essay. You'd be offered bits of paragraph, and you could string them together or reject some of them because yeah. so it does come up with some things which are completely wrong sure you just have to know enough to, to <laughs> sort out which bits are which yes yes you do 
Um, but that's that's just the way it is. Yeah, it could do. Um, it could do quite a good radio show, I think. Because <laughs> uh, well, it would. Uh, we d- we don't really work to a formula here. Well, we'd sort of work to a formula in that. I'm playing uh, fairly old tracks from CDs, and you're a bit more up to date. You're more from this century on the tablet. Sure. Anyway, I'm sure they've heard enough of us. I think they've had enough. Yeah, try so find, find another track, John. 